Hey sleep friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maylene Call from Mrs. Call's Campers. If you're new here, I am a kindergarten teacher in Northern California, but today we are doing a completely different video. Today's video is a kitchen tour. I love kitchens. I'm obsessed with seeing other people's kitchens. I know that when I was in college, before I really had my own kitchen, I would watch these videos and just sit there all day and watch other people's kitchen organization videos. So hopefully my kitchen can inspire you just a little bit in the same way that these videos inspired me. We are ready so we can't do things like paint these red walls, which I wish I could, but we can't. But I am gonna show you inside all of my cabinets. I'm gonna show you my fridge. I'm gonna show you my pantry and the different ways that I like to organize and the different systems that work for me. And I hope you enjoy. Here is our kitchen and then we have our pantry over to the right. It's Christmas Eve. I took down most of the decorations that we usually have in the kitchen just so you guys could get a feel for what our kitchen actually looks like, but I did not take down the wreath because I forgot, so it's there. Let's start on the island. I'm actually really excited that we have an island in this kitchen. It's the first kitchen we've ever had that had an island and it makes a world of difference when we are cooking. These are bar stools from Target. I love that they are leather. Here's what they look like. They're super, super comfortable to sit in and I got them on sale. As soon as they went on sale, I snatched them up and they just have these metal legs. This is what it looks like to sit in the chairs. They have a little foot bar, so that's nice. So for the island, I knew that I wanted to have something in the center and I wanted it to be on some kind of tray. So I went to Target and they had this Lazy Susan and I think it was the Magnolia section and I saw it, I thought it was perfect. And nearby I found this candle and these salt and pepper shakers. And then I also got this vase. So all of this is from Target. Flowers are from Trader Joe's. I don't actually light this candle. Um, <laughs> I got lemon cause it's an appropriate kitchen candle but I don't light it. It's, it is just um, for decoration. So you can judge me, but I like it. I also wanna mention we used to have a round dining table, not in here, but in previous homes. It does look like a lot of space, but it's not really that much space. When you put a table here, it just makes everything a little bit tight. So basically all of this is from Target. So let's talk about the cabinets. All right, so in this first cabinet, I keep Tupperware and I keep extra Tupperware kind of up there, but it's all in the fridge right now. And then this is my favorite kind of Tupperware. It is by Rubbermaid. It's the, the Premier series, but these are my favorite containers for meal prep for really anything. They're leak proof and spill proof and I love them. And my trick when it comes to Tupperware is for one, make sure you have all of the same kind because it'll automatically look more organized. And tip number two is to put your lids in a basket. I've been doing this for as long as I've had an apartment and it makes a huge, huge difference when you're organizing. So putting your lids in a basket makes them easily accessible and just look super organized. In these two cabinets, we have salt and pot holders. These are little bowl cozies. So you can put a bowl in them and put it in the microwave and then you can like take it out and it won't be hot. And I do keep a pot holder by the stove at all times. It's either here or it's by the sink. And then in these two cabinets, we have our dishes. So plates and bowls and ramekins. I broke that one in the fourth set. We have a torch for creme brulees. Um, we have this jar because we were gonna make ghee, but we haven't made it yet. And then all of our glasses. So I love these little, I don't know what they're called, risers, shelves, um, to kind of make use of the space. My husband really likes this Fiesta wear, this color, and I really like white. So we have a mix of white and a mix of Fiesta wear. Um, I will say though, these are my favorite plates. They have just like a little ridge. It makes eating food such a pleasure. <laughs> so that's all of those cabinets. We do keep oven mitts over here. This command hook was already here um, and I got these super cute oven mitts from I think Marshalls or TJ Maxx, but they're like little half oven mitts. I love them. Going, we have my little prayer plant and then we have these cabinets over here, which I will show you in a second. Let's talk about what I keep on the countertop. So this is obviously our little cooking 
area. And so I keep a cutting board right here. I love this cutting board. Um, and I keep garlic here. This, I did buy like a little marble thing to hold the garlic instead of this. I've had this forever. Look, it's kind of dirty. <laughs> but yeah, so just imagine that it, there's a marble thing there. And then this is my little, I don't know what you call it, just my little station. I've got pepper. There's actually everything but the bagel seasoning behind it because I use it so often. Then we have our olive oil and a little salt thing. So we use these things pretty much every single day. And then behind it, this is mostly here because it's just heavy. So it's like a little marble slab that we use whenever we do like our charcuterie board. So that is this area. So a lot of times we will take out something like parsley and I'll just chop it right here and then I can like add it to my meals. This is our stove, which yes, I love that it's gas. That's amazing but I hate the controls on these things. It takes me forever to find something. That is just way too much Whirlpool, way too much. Our hand towels are pretty much all from Grove Collaborative. Over here I have a utensil holder from Target and we use all of these utensils every single week. Like these are all dirty every single week. My favorite one is the spatula from OXO. It is the best spatula, which is why I have three of them. And then we have our butter dish, which holds our butter. <laughs> so since this is our cooking area, all of our seasonings are over here. Um, this usually changes depending on like the house that we live in. So sometimes they're like in a cabinet. Um, sometimes there's like a little pull out spice drawer, but this is kind of our method for right now. And they're all like flipped upside down. Um, these are the ones that we use most often. This one's my favorite, chipotle chilies the best. And then we have extra seasonings that we don't use quite as often or just like different specific ones down here. I don't even know what's in here. Oh, <laughs> this looks like it's gonna be a problem. I know, trust me. Um, these are all of our oils. So we use this whenever we do like fried rice, um, whenever we cook like steak. This is really just like stir fry oils and things. <laughs> and I really don't know what's down here. Oh, medicine. <laughs> So that's what we keep right by our stove. And then on the other side, we do have these utensils here, but then we have more in here. So these are ones that we use like less often. All of our knives are here. I did at one point buy like this knife thing and we used it in one house, but it's just easier to grab them out like this. So it looks dangerous, but it's fine. We have a little sharpener, meat thermometer, can opener oil thermometer and then this thing is a cigar box but it has toothpicks in it so that's what holds our toothpicks and then a lot of our lower cabinets have this little like roll out thing which is fantastic i have our mixing bowls here this is great i love that they slide out because then i can just pop them up on the counter and then we have measuring cups and this is a little basket full of just kitchen tools. This is our cheese grater that you see in my cooking videos. We have, uh, is this called a mandolin? I think so. A lemon juicer, this chopper that I love. All of our little kitchen tools are in one basket. And then I have the toaster here, which I know looks random, but we pull it out and plug it in right there by the butter. So it just makes sense to have my toaster right here. So that's where I put it. Then underneath we have some miscellaneous items, mostly just these baking things that I didn't want to put anywhere else. And then like our strainer, we probably need a new strainer. And then a popcorn bucket that we couldn't really use this year, <laughs> but I put popcorn in it sometimes. So I think it makes sense to show you the rest of our cooking items. So here in our island, we keep pans. And I like that the pans are in a top drawer, which is not what most people would do, but we use them every single night. Like pretty much everything we make is in the oven. So we have our pans and we have our cutting boards. We have some big cutting boards underneath. Um, you can kind of see, but we don't really use them as often as we use these little sheets because they're so convenient. And I love these little half pans for cooking. So easy. In this drawer, we keep 
the plastic wrap, the bags, the stashers. One of my favorite things ever are these stasher bags. You can microwave them, you can put them in the oven, you could freeze them, do whatever you want with them. You'll see a ton of them when we go into my fridge. We do still have plastic bags. Please do not come for me. We use them for various things. Um, I use them whenever I'm taking off my nail polish, I'll put them in there. So we do still have plastic bags, but for the most part, I try to use my reusable ones. And then we have foil, parchment paper, and plastic wrap. So even though I have still pads, sometimes we still need these. So I have them, don't come for me. It's another little pull out shelf. We have our pots and pans that we use every single week. Then down below, I have a bigger pot and our little cast irons it's a little hard to see but I put all of our lids in this thing I think this is from Walmart like forever ago but I liked that it was long so it kind of sits snug in there I did at one point have like a specific lid organizer and I just like this so much better so all of our lids are in there and they stay nice and neat I have a little pasta maker back there. In this cabinet, we have like breakfast things up on top along with some like bakeware cause it just fit there. We use our waffle iron all the time. We use our griddle all the time. And then underneath, um, we have like a little mini crock pot that we'll use for like spinach and artichoke dip. And then we have our fondue pot that we use like four times a year, but it's worth it. And then just some miscellaneous, <laughs> containers that are just kind of big and awkward. So those are the two main things on our island and then we have some drawers. This one is a junk drawer. Everybody has one. Honestly, this just started whenever we moved in. I was just throwing things in here and that's that's how it stayed. Then we keep mail in here. And then, oh, these are our room sprays. Um, this is good. This is my favorite like fabric spray. So I have an extra one in here. These are the Myers. I don't know. I didn't have anything to put in this drawer, so that's what's in there. And then, oh, these are microfibers that we got when we moved, so. All right, now let's talk about our coffee bar. So this is attached to the counter and I don't know what it is. So if you know what this is, tell me, cause I have no idea. Cause I thought it was kind of like a pot holder of some sort, but it's so far away and it's in the corner. I didn't know what to do with it. So I made this area into our coffee bar and then I stocked this cabinet with our coffee supplies. And then we have kind of like our little coffee station. So I guess I'll show you that since it kind of makes sense. In this cabinet, we have our coffee bar. In previous apartments and homes, we did have a standalone coffee bar, but we just had so much space in this kitchen that it made sense to actually put the coffee right by the coffee maker in the kitchen. So we keep travel mugs up on top and then we keep normal mugs here. We have way too many mugs, I think like every other person on the planet, but I just love the ones that we have so much. So those are those. And then down here we have coffee supplies. This little basket is from Target. All of our coffee is from Bears Brothers. We love them, we're obsessed with them. Then we have a little coffee bean grinder, some coffee spoons some caramel for when I make iced caramel macchiatos. This is equal for John, Stevia for me. These are some hot cocoa packets. And then we have coffee filters, a scoop from World Market that we use to get out our coffee. And then I have some syrup back there. And then there's some like other filters for our Chemex. So we have our French press, our normal coffee maker, our Chemex. This is what John really, really wanted. Um, for a long time, I just used the French press, but now here's a little sneak peek. Now I pretty much always use our Bialetti. So here is where we keep our silverware. I got this little bamboo thing from Target, I think forever ago. And then we keep some measuring spoons that we use pretty often. And then I have some extra blender bottle spiral things and I don't know how. And then these are our older measuring cups that I'll use for cooking sometimes. And my newer ones are with the baking thing. And also this is really weird, but I really like this silverware because it's like smooth and round. Like it's a round shape. So I really like that about our silverware. I have another one of these rolling things. So I keep our blender here because it's easy. You can just pull it out and use it. I haven't made a smoothie. And I don't even know how long, but I like having this here. And then I keep my BCAAs here for after my workouts. I have a lot of 
backups. We have our Bialetti down here just because it wouldn't really fit up there. And then in this little bin back here, we just have some extra lids. And then down here, we keep water bottles. And I tried to throw out any water bottles that I wasn't using, so I didn't have too many now. These are all of my blender bottles for when I work out. And then these are just like some other beverage containers. And then I have some just like vanilla protein for when I make smoothies. So I put it kind of by the blender. I love that our sink is right by a window. Unfortunately, our view is of another house. So this window is almost never open. I open it sometimes if I remember for my plants, but I'm really bad at it. So I put this light here. It's a little grow light for my prayer plant because it was it was getting kind of sad. So I put one of those there for her and she's just plugged in right there. I have a little warmer. I've always loved having plants right by the sink. Something about it just speaks to me. This is my sink lineup. We have my favorite counter spray from Grove. Pretty much everything is gonna be from Grove that's cleaning related. This is the Snowdrop scent because it's Christmas Eve. And this is my little bottle cleaner. It's actually in a sugar container that I got from TJ Maxx, but when you turn it around, you can't tell. And then this is the bubble up sponge. Put dish soap in here and you can kind of like make bubbles and scrub with it. And then we have my kitchen gloves that are also from Grove. This is the only way I will do dishes because I hate the feeling of doing dishes on my hands. And then we have a little hand soap from Grove and another little plant and this, is from TJ Maxx. So that is my sink. Oh, also um, my sponge is in a little sponge holder because that's the only way I can have it. I refuse to have it any other way. I can't put the sponge down. It just has to be in a sponge holder. And then by the sink, I keep a microfiber towel cloth. <laughs> this one is from Grove, of course, but just so I can wipe down the counter. So I use that spray, I use this cloth, and I just wipe it all down. And um, by the sink, we have this mat. It, it looks dirt, more dirty than it is on camera. We probably should wash it, but real life. Okay, so this is what my under sink area looks like. It's mostly organized, but as you can see, we have some bags just kind of thrown in there. I really want to be the person who folds their bags, but I'm not that person right now. So I get all of my cleaning supplies from Grove. You can see some of them are still taped up, but I usually order extras of things because I am just so paranoid that I'm gonna run out. So I always buy extra of everything. So we have spray, we have hand lotion, we have soap, soap, we have multi-purpose cleaner. Um, in the back, it's just like some vinegar and like extras of things. And then down below we have gloves because we do need gloves every once in a while and then some sponges. And like I said, we have some extra things down there. So this is how my under sink has always been organized and it's always worked for me and I really like it. So <laughs> moving over, we have some dish pods. We have some cloths that are also from Grove and then some drying mats. So if we're doing dishes by hand, we'll pull out one of those drying mats and pop it on the counter. And an extra roll of paper towels just to grab quickly. So that is our sink area. Here is our dishwasher, which I wanna show you guys in case you've never heard of this. I saw it on TikTok. But did you know this, this silverware thing that's normally like sitting in your dishwasher? Check your dishwasher, because I think you might be surprised to know you can lock it into this, the door of your dishwasher. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thanks TikTok, okay. That's our dishwasher. Um, this is our trash can. I got it from Walmart years ago. And then we have this section, which is dual purpose. So we have baking and then bar. So my KitchenAid is here, not in the corner. I debated for a really long time if I wanted my KitchenAid in the corner and this over here. I decided I wanted the KitchenAid to be here because it just made sense for like the way I flow. When I'm baking up top, this is my Baking cabinet, it's a little little messy. Let me just straighten it out. Okay, so this is our baking cabinet. Up top, I keep a bag of like extra chocolate chips and then these are just like miscellaneous kitchen things. So there's piping bags, there's cookie cutters. The top is just a whole, a whole thing. In the middle, normally this has sprinkles, but I use sprinkles for everything and so I ran out. 
This is my mixture of chunks and minis that I like to bake my cookies with. And then this is powdered sugar. And behind it I have like extras of things. And then this is a bin that has like some random baking things. Mostly like, I don't know, there's like healthy things. Like there's, well not healthy, but we got swerve, almond flour, cocoa, extra cocoa because we're almost out. Um, Crisco, coconut oil, some lilies. There's like nothing in here. Oh, there's some in there. Okay. And then this is coconut flour. And then just like random piping bags go in there. That's what's in there. And then all of our extracts are right there. And then on the bottom shelf, I keep these containers. This is flour, cake flour, brown sugar, and normal sugar. And then this is baking soda, baking powder, and then cornstarch. Um, cream of tartar, yeast, and on my little recipe book. That is the baking cabinet. You'll notice none of my containers are labeled because I just want to be able to switch them if I want to. So I never label them, I just remember what's in there. I don't really like labels that much, which you'd think I would do because I'm a teacher, but I don't. So that is all of the baking items. And then we move over here, here is our bar. Normally we have cognac in here, we need to fill it up. Um, this is just whiskey and then this is empty for right now but oh and also I don't know why this is out so up top we keep all of our bar glasses this is what I pretty much make all of my drinks in and then we have like Moscow mules we never make martinis um this is what we've been using for like Christmas time Christmas cocktails and then just like some random ones we have a bunch of different wine glasses, but most of the time we just use these. And of course, for mimosas, we need champagne glasses. So that's our glassware for the bar, which I really liked that I'm keeping it by the bar because it just makes so much sense. And then underneath here, oh, I forgot to show you. We also have this drawer that I use for baking. I don't have that many things in here because I just, I don't need that many things. So it's not, I mean, it's kind of organized. Back to the bar. So this is our bar drawer so i usually have these things if i'm mixing up a drink and then a cutting board if i need to cut limes or lemons these little dividers are from target and we have a lot of shot glasses but keep in mind people just really like to give us shot glasses so we have i think 30 i counted 30 one day um and then we have these wine stoppers and a wine key so yeah these are cute though little Moscow meal ones. And then underneath is where we keep all of our alcohol. So over here, we have the sliding drawers, which this is like very full right now. We bought some like sparkling wine for like Christmas and New Year's. Um, and then we have like some basic Trader Joe's wine. And then we got a good sale on that sparkling wine. Um, so yeah, just some wine here, but it's really nice because it pulls out easily and then down here we keep our sodas and mixers and things like that so we have coke we have ginger beer we have pineapple juice we have club soda these are straws do not come for me i like straws in my drinks and i hate reusable straws so please do not come for me um we have those fancy cherries that john really likes and then this is kind of like our liquor cabinet so we make a lot of mixed cocktails. We like to have fun and mixed drinks. So we have pretty much everything um, you would need. So <laughs> over on the left side, I have this acrylic organizer. It has simple syrup, which yes, you can make at home. And then also we have some blue carousel, some Bailey's, some grenadine, bitters. And we keep like sour mixes here. This is my favorite margarita mix because it's literally 10 calories. Okay, so then triple sec, which we use for everything, tequila, gin, vodka. You can see we have um, just all the normal things you would need to make a drink. And then in the back, we keep like backups. So that is our liquor cabinet. I think now you've seen inside all of our cabinets, so now let's take a look at the fridge. So on top of our fridge, we keep extra water because we like cannot clean this water, ice, 
ice situation. We tried and we can't, so we just get water and drink that water. We make ice most of the time. We will use this ice, but when I say this fridge was disgusting, it was. So most of the time we try to use our ice cubes. I have our bread in here. We do have some bread in our pantry, but this is nice. Did you know you could freeze bread and toast it and it's all the same? And then some sausage and there's hash browns behind there too. And then this is where like all of our frozen things go. So we have a lot of orange chicken and Kung Pao chicken from Trader Joe's. And then there's some sweet potato gnocchi back there. There's like four bags. These are pot stickers. John got them from Trader Joe's. And then we have some sweet potato fries in there. And then this is our veggie section. So we get French green beans and broccoli. And then we have a couple of other things like cauliflower, corn, peas and carrots for fried rice. So normally we have a lot of veggies. And then down here we keep all of our chicken. We eat a lot of frozen chicken. Also these drawers side out, which is nice. And then just some like other meat that we are freezing is in here. And then on the bottom we have some like fruit and some sugar cookies. And then this is a sausage rice mixture that I made when we did stuffed peppers. And then this is some leftover cookie dough from my cookie recipe, which you can click the I button to watch because they are the best cookies ever. And then in the door, we have this giant tri-tip that doesn't really fit, so we just put it there. Then I have some ice cream for milkshakes, and then these are fudgesicles. And then these are some frozen protein waffles, and these are some extra peppers that I diced up. And what is this? Oh, this is salmon for John. So that is everything in our freezer. This is usually how our freezer looks and how our freezer is organized. Here is our fridge. We usually go through a lot of eggs, not lately, but usually. So we just buy the 60 pack from Walmart. Um, and then underneath it, we keep our cheese basket, which is my favorite thing. Let me pull it out and show you. I think everybody should have a cheese basket. Um, we have sharp cheddar, extra sharp cheddar, and then we have some Colby, or no, sorry, this is Fiesta blend for John. Mozzarella, because we just made stuffed peppers. This is just cheese for, for snacking that we got from Trader Joe's. This is Parmesan for all of the things. Extra Parmesan. Um, this is for when we make grilled cheeses. These are my string <laughs> cheeses. And these are sandwich cheeses. So this is my cheese basket. And beside my cheese basket, we just have some salami and spinach that I put in literally everything. Oh, and I guess there's more cheese that John bought and did not fit in the baskets. So that's that. And if you move down, this is where we keep like produce. And it, I feel like it looks really empty right now. But anyways, so we have limes and lemons because we use them all the time. We have a pomegranate back there. Oh, I love pomegranates, so stinging much. And then baby carrots and then some fruit. So I have raspberries and then these are the like sweetest batch blueberries, so good. And then on this shelf usually just has a bunch of leftovers. So I made stuffed peppers last night. If you follow me on Instagram, then you saw that. And then a couple nights ago, I made this Cajun pasta. So we have those. And then we have just some like drinks. John has some salsa and there's some beer. And then this is where we keep our produce. John has some spring mix back there. We have carrot chips for when I make cilantro carrots. We have extra spinach. Um, what's here? Oh, these are peppers. And then we have some bell peppers. We normally have a bunch of red ones, but I just made stuffed peppers. And then in the very bottom, we keep our meat that we're going to be using soon. So this is actually our ham. We got a honey baked ham for Christmas because tomorrow is Christmas. Then we have Italian sausage. I love putting this in pasta. Um, we have a little tiny little pork butt thing. And then pancetta for carbonara, which we make all the time. And then this is ground beef that I don't really know what we're gonna use for, but it's in there. So any meat that we're gonna be using soon is here. Here we keep butter, salted and unsalted because we do a lot of baking and then queso. I don't know why this, 
Okay, John got this for buffalo dip. So this should be like up here. Then on this shelf, we keep the fresh herbs that we use. So cilantro and parsley, and I keep them in this little plastic container with water so that they stay fresh. I'm always like pulling them off so I can add them to our cooking. We have this tomato paste in a tube, which is a lifesaver. If you do not have it, you need to get it because it's so much easier than the cans. This is espresso powder for when I make coffee and then we have some half and half and sweet cream coffee creamer these are our condiments uh the most important one is the frank's hot sauce so that's my favorite i know everybody says this stuff is bad for you a lot of times we do cut up our fresh garlic i keep it out here so we can cut it up but sometimes you're in a pinch and you just need garlic so i have it and then we have some like juices and we usually don't have this many juices this is cranberry and pineapple and orange because we're making lots of like holiday cocktails so that's there milk oh these are really good they are the sausage um little sausage things from trader joe's and then so that is how i organize my fridge i really do love these acrylic containers i use them all throughout my house and my classroom um i get them from walmart i don't think they're that expensive but you can use them in so many different ways so i would definitely say if you're trying to organize your kitchen life you need to get these and then these containers by rubbermaid keep my produce super super fresh so that's why i keep all of that in there Last we have our pantry and this is the first time we've had like a real pantry. I know not everybody has a pantry space. I didn't for a really long time, but I'm gonna show you how I organize mine. So this is our pantry. Sun setting, so I am going to be using a ring light. It looks kind of harsh, but on the top I have like just some random storage things. Same for the bottom. Just some random things that we use in our kitchen, extra drinks, extra oil, a step stool. Hey, I can use that. By the way, these bins are from Ikea. Um, these bins are all from Target and all of the containers, like the pop containers are from Walmart. So these are also containers from Target. So up on the top shelf over here is where I usually keep like junk food. This just has some peanut butter in it right now. This is where I keep extra sauces and things like that. So we went to Tennessee and we got a ton of tongue torch because we don't have a Zaxby's here in California. And then we have some instant mashed potatoes, which we pretty much never make anymore. And then here we have a Lazy Susan with a couple of random things. This is my tomato bin. I have sun-dried tomatoes, tomato paste, fire-roasted tomatoes, just normal like canned tomatoes. Anything tomato related goes in the tomato bin and then we have a potato bin. So here are our potatoes. We love these little potatoes that have like the seasoning on them. They're really quick and easy and we're making mashed potatoes for Christmas. So we have some gold in there and then I keep onion and garlic together in this little, it's like a soda can holder, but I like to use it for onion and garlic and sometimes potatoes. If we have like a lot of potatoes, I'll have another one. And then we have rice and quinoa in here. Then if we move down, we have our pasta bin. So orichetti is my favorite pasta and the best kind is from Trader Joe's. So I have two bags of that. I also have some mac and cheese and some penne pasta in here. You can't really see it. And then vermicelli for carbonara. So this is our pasta bin. So in this bin, I just have like protein bars and breakfast things. These are my favorite protein bars from 1UP. They're s'mores and they are so good. And then in this bin, I just have my protein. So I'm almost out of this one. It's the coffee, like toff caramel toffee nut protein, peanut butter, chocolate protein. I have some cotton candy and some birthday cake, which I am so, so excited to try. So as soon as I run out of this caramel toffee protein, I'm opening that birthday cake. And then over here, this is our breakfast basket so I have a little oatmeal kit that I can take out if I want to make oatmeal so it has oatmeal cinnamon um, vanilla and then this seasoning from flavor God that's like cinnamon roll and a little scoop and then we have some pancake mix and some grits I 
am obsessed with grits. So I have grits in here and then just some syrup back there. So in this basket, we kind of have some miscellaneous kitchen items, mostly like bready type items. So we have breadcrumbs. Right now we have French onions because um, Christmas is tomorrow and John's gonna make that like casserole. And then we have nutritional yeast, which I don't really eat. I don't think I like it. And then we have stuff for making popcorn. And then we have our bread bin, which has the bread and the wraps that we like to get. So if we have like hot dog buns or something, it'll go in the bread bin. And then over here, this pretty much just has nuts in it. So we have pistachios, extra pistachios, almonds and pecans. And I don't even know why we have pecans. And then I have some like nut butter packets that I always forget I have. And then we have cans over here. Um, right now we have more cans than usual because Christmas is tomorrow and we're gonna be making like casseroles and then we have some wine that I use for cooking back here. It's just Chardonnay from Trader Joe's. And we have SpaghettiOs because I like SpaghettiOs. So that basket just has cans in it. And then at the very bottom over here, it's kind of hard to see. This is where like all of our paper plates and forks and things go. So I just have a bin where I keep them in here. And then this is my snack bin pretty much. So I have pork rinds, peanut butter. This one's almost empty, but I put the new one down here just so I didn't have to reach way up there and get it. And then I have ghost pepper chips. These are my favorite chips from Trader Joe's. And then this has some chips and salsa. Sometimes it has other things. And then this is like John's little area of snacks that he never eats because he always forgets that he has them and his cereal, so. Oh, also, we have extra wine back here. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> then down at the bottom, I already showed you, but this is just like extra kitchen, just like random things that we've used in other apartments and houses, but we don't really have room for here. And then drinks and oils and just some random things. All right, that is the end of our kitchen tour. I hope you guys enjoyed. Like I said, it's not perfect, but it works for us. And again, this is the biggest kitchen that we've had, so it was fun to kind of explore and play with some new ways to organize things. So that being said, thank you for commenting, thank you for liking, thank you for subscribing, and I will see you in the next one.